For those of you who are new to our channel and for those of you who may have missed a few episodes, here's a little catch up. We're a family of four who comprise of Andy, Melissa, Jack, aged 11 and Oliver, just 12 weeks. And we're in the process of moving out of our house to live aboard and sail full time with the eventual goal of very slowly circumnavigating the world. For the past few years, we've been working hard to make this dream come true. And now we're literally two weeks away from being full time liverboards. And this is our new home. Carrying on from last week and getting the boat ready to move aboard, um, Ollie's having a nap. So I am going to move these. Um, what am I going to do? I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to remove um, the mattresses and stuff from the aft cabin and paint under the bunks just to make it smell a bit nicer and ready for us to put stuff in. The thing about boats is obviously you've got to find somewhere to put the stuff when you're working. So I'm going to take all this stuff through to the forepeak. We've been cleaning and cleaning to get rid of this diesel smell and um, on the passage back we had a diesel in uh, jerry cans in the um, locker on the aft deck which is behind here and there's a drain hole and they've leaked and we have found the culprit of the diesel smell <laughs> which is quite funny because it's just been right under our bed so it's there so getting rid of that and then painting this out should really help. <laughs> No, it's mostly these ones. Right? I thought I'd rip it. Oh, lovely. Would you mind getting me the blue roll? Yeah, I'm trying to get her to swim in the boat. Oh, okay, don't worry. Right, okay. Right, okay. Right, Right, I've now got in position. I can hear Ollie stirring. <laughs> I'm hoping that I can get some of this done and then maybe Jack can take over. I've given this a very light rub over with sandpaper. But as we go along, we will tackle one area at a time properly. Um, this is just to make it pleasant to move aboard. And say, if it was just Andy and I, um, we just live in one half of the boat whilst doing the other half of the boat but when you've got kids you, you have got to make it nice and it's um it's a big it's a big step for Jack to move on the boat yeah Jack's best friend lives next door to us um, he's homeschooled anyway so that's um, not so much of a hard transition that's why we took Jack out of school before we moved on the boat and went sailing just to make it a bit of a softer transition um, because if you end up doing everything at once it can be quite daunting and when you're 11 nearly 12 there's lots of hormones and everything going on um, and it's a, it, it is a really big deal I mean it's, it's a big deal for us but kids kind of just have to do what their parents say and 
Jack is very happy and very excited about it, but I'm sure parts of him um, it is quite daunted. Um, quite daunted? It's daunting. It's a daunting process. Um, and the other thing is downsi downsizing toys. Um, Jack's a bit of a collector. Um, not of toys. He loves collecting fossils and stones and um, just cool kind of memorabilia and ornaments and stuff. And there's going to be a place for some of it on the boat, but not all of it. <laughs> Um, so we're each going to have a special box each that we keep on land that when we come back we can decide if we um, we want to keep it. Muscles. Oh, I nearly just <laughs> used the GoPro as a paint pot. That wouldn't have been ideal. They call me sassy when I'm strolling down the street. They call me classy when I'm serving just a bus. I can be deadly when I find somebody lovely And now I'm ready like a kitty in a dress Don't call me mean, I just want someone to love me Someone to lick my wounds and kiss my aching body My desperation knows no termination They You know, 101 rules of painting Masking tape first another coat but um that's looking nice and white and clean it smells clean oh it smells like paint um ollie's just woken up but i'm gonna get paint in my hair it's in the way um ollie's just woken up but he's happy jack is reading him a book um so i am going to tackle this bit in the middle of the two berths next but before I paint this, this is just cuteness overload. Jack has wanted uh, a younger brother or sister forever, and this is just so cute. I can hear them. <laughs> Jumping on the spotty lots. Watch the small and stripy bees buzz round on the stripy trees. Skip your page, so Jack is going to do some painting for us. Um, under strict instructions not to touch the GoPro with his painted hands, um, yeah. and I'm going to go and sort Ollie out. Okay. Well, as Mum has requested, um, I'm, I am going to talk about how I. I'm feeling about leaving aboard the boat. It's frankly, it's it's very exciting, but it's a bit. I'm feeling a bit nervous because I'm not sure. Obviously, I am having to get rid of some stuff, and I have loads of rubbish in my room, just old drawings and stuff that 
um, failed drawing, so I never bothered to throw away. And I am getting rid of all that. Obviously, yeah, the other toys I don't play with. Um, I feel like there won't be enough space for all my stuff. There will be, I'm sure. I'm very excited. Can't wait to be in, in Greece or Australia. I love Australia. I'm really glad that uh, Dad quit his job and obviously Mum's not working. She hasn't been working for a while because she's a full-time mum and a jolly good one at that. I can't wait to go fishing with all my family and all my fa family and having loads of fun with Oliver. Oh, I can teach him how to sail the Optimus or the water boat, depends on which one we keep. Long story short, I'm a bit excited about everything, but, sorry, I'm a bit nervous about everything, but I'm really excited also about everything as well. I just can't wait. I have friends in Wales and I will miss them. I hope to keep contact with them, but I'm also excited about making friends in lots of different places, lots of different countries, I and mean, friends just dotted around the, around the world, sort of. Yeah, that's cool. I like that. Friends dotted around the world. Yeah. Okay. Your head of course. Mm -hmm. Is Ollie you back to sleep or? No, not no. I hear the child. Okay. Nice. Jack did a great job um, painting out the middle bits. Think about us, I think about us calling I think about us, I think about us falling Through the dark night and through time Towards the light when you'll be mine I think about us, I know the dawn is for us I dream about us, I dream so a lot nicer and cleaner and smells a bit fresher in here, albeit of paint, but it smells a lot nicer. So just wait for that to dry and I'll put everything back in. I'm just in the middle of sewing, repairing the spray hood, because although we're building a cockpit enclosure and we'll be doing new canvas, that's not going to happen overnight, so we still need a spray hood. Um, one of the zips is broken, um, but halfway through it, Ollie needed the feed, so I'm going to come back to that in a bit. So Jack has taken over the spray hood repair. I'm not sure if it's going on. So what are you doing? You're sewing that zip back on, aren't you? Yeah. So we can put it back up without having to tie it up. Yep. Doing a grand job. Put myself in the leg. Don't stamp your leg, no. Mm. So this quick repair on the spray job has, um, on the spray job. On the spray. <laughs> We're not spraying the boat. This quick, I'm tired today. 
this quick repair on the spray hood has taken all three of us because Ollie's Ollie's poorly today. Um, so he needs me. So Andy's now <laughs> getting oh at the end. We're not far off. <laughs> it is knackered this it's, thing. Yeah, it's completely knackered and we'll and we um we'll be it's completely knackered and we'll be doing new canvas once the um cockpit enclosure is built. Um but we still need some shade and protection from the weather. And plus it makes you look like the it does. Kind of, although it's pretty manky. <laughs> I know, but it gives We give it a scrub. Tell you what, I do love the lines of that, but it is completely screwed that spray hood. It's just tatty and falling apart and filthy and mouldy and um I'm looking forward to the new one, but the lines of that cover are gorgeous, aren't they? So, I'm an idiot. <laughs> um, it's back up and I've got to redo it tomorrow because I started the zip sewing and I've sewn the zip on the wrong way round and in the wrong place by the looks of it. Um, but I'll fix it tomorrow. It shouldn't take as long tomorrow if I can do it in um, a nap time. But yeah, what an idiot. That was it. Should have been there. But I followed, there was a stitch line there, so I assumed it was there, but it should have been there. And I've sewed this, this bit on the wrong way. Mm -hmm. 